Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Dreamfall. And man, it has been, to quote the game, the longest journey trying to get uh, back to recording again. As you might have recalled from my last couple of videos, my laptop has just not been working right. And uh, it was already a kind of old one. I'd had it for about four years and I got it used, so... Yeah, and that there was just, I wasn't sure what the problem was. Best case scenario, I would have to reinstall Windows. Worst case scenario, I'd have to replace the hard drive. So I just decided, you know, it's time for a new laptop. So I got this new laptop, everything's running smoothly. I was able to get the game on, I was able to transfer my saves. I finally get ready to record, and lo and behold, this thing does not have a jack for a microphone. Of all the things for this computer to be missing, it doesn't have a jack for a microphone, but there is a microphone installed into the laptop, so I'm using that. And I have a USB microphone on the way. But it has been quite some time since I played this last, so hopefully I can uh, not screw things up. Last time, anyway, sorry for the rant, I know you didn't want to hear it, but I wanted to say it because I needed to rant about it. And uh, yeah, sorry for the mic quality, kind of sounds echoey because it's... I'm talking into the computer mic that's installed into the laptop. So last time we played as April, we were following that prophet guy in that lost city that Zoe found herself in when she first arrived in Arcadia. And there wasn't really much story-wise, but we did discover a place where dreams seemed to be converging. I believe that's what she was saying. So uh, yeah, def this thing here, this... Uh, hub for the uh, dream machine definitely seems to have something to do with something going on in Arcadia. But we still don't know what's going on, but we're going to be in lockdown soon and we don't want that. So yeah, we need to get out of here. I do love this new laptop though, it has more than twice the memory of my old one, it has quad-core processor. Uh, it's pretty good, I've got uh, Windows 10 installed on it. So, uh, recordings should go a lot smoother now. Anyway, the let's, uh, let the... Entering lockdown. So I'm getting Please used to away from all entrances. this new this keyboard. Because it's like everything's a different size, so my fingers have to get used to a lockdown. new thing. Please proceed to the nearest elevator to vacate the premises. Anyway, yeah, let's not be in lockdown. Lockdown is in effect. All non-essential personnel um, must vacate the core immediately. Yeah, I'm going. So Please yeah, that's what I need to get to. Let's not run into right, these guys. Boys, move out. All non-essential personnel must proceed uh, to the nearest elevator. You two head in that and direction. And you're with me. So head the other way and regroup on the other side. Go! Uh, what do I do? What do I do? I actually don't know what to do here. Like I said, it's, it's been a while. It's a... Oh, I got shot. Okay. She shot me through the wall. Anyway, oh, there's a journal entry. Let's see. Where's the journal button? There we go. The alarm's gone off. I hope it wasn't me. I need to find a way out of here, but I won't be able to get out the same way I got in. The elevator's probably my best bet at this point. Please evacuate well, you would be uh, mistaken on that. But uh, let's just try this again and see if I can't do a little bit better. So let's... Uh, I don't know why they have to. I'll, I'll wait. I was about to say, I don't know why they have to do the, the thing like that, but they probably have to uh, make sure no contamination gets inside, and so they have to not this have both doors warning. open at the same time. Exciting the commentary, I know. Lockdown. I'm uh, <laughs> Please to the a bit wiped out, but I'm glad to be doing this, and then, uh, I'll be glad to be recording another episode of Final Fantasy VII pretty soon. Lockdown is in effect. All non essential personnel so must be the car immediately. All right, boys, move out. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Um, how do I skip the this again? Can I? It's not letting me skip it. Okay. You two head in that direction. And you're with me. We'll head the other way and regroup on the other side. Oh, go! I'm going to save real quick so I don't have to go through all that again, just in case. And report to the 
their assigned security station immediately. So let's do this, and then maybe we can uh, sneak out behind them when they come this way. If they come this way, I can hear them coming. Here we go. Alright. And luckily they're not too bright. No, I want to get out. This I want to get out! Environment, and that's where the air is coming from. Okay, how do I leave? There. <laughs> Just have to press a directional button, okay. So to the elevators we go. Alright. Not too bad. Oh you have the elevator. Anyway, luckily we got that little worm in there, so we can figure out what is going on with the Dream Core, why it's causing the static, uh, and all that stuff. Uh oh. Yeah, I am trying desperately to- oh, wow, what happened? I am trying desperately to remember Find what's April. going on. Oh, Save this little girl. April. I did! I found her! What is it you want me to do? She doesn't need to be saved. Save me. Hmm? Journal. Why did the little girl send me up here? There must be something she wants me to do. So yeah, we're still not done with this place yet. Like I said, we're gonna be here for a while. Morpheus. Is he gonna teach me Kung Fu? Of all the parts in this game, this is the one thing that I uh, definitely remember the most. It's like I said, it's, I, I've forgotten so much of the story before I uh, replayed this, and now I'm just kind of remembering how things are. But this guy, well, I'm, spoiler alert, there's going to be a guy. This uh, part, <laughs> Those I remember. Those flowers are beautiful. But what is this place anyway? Why did that little girl send us here? Don't come any closer. How did you get here? Who are you? You're not supposed to be up here. This floor's restricted. Leave. Now! Um, curious. What is this place? I said, leave, right? Wait. Wait. I recognize you. You're that girl. The one from Casablanca. The one who was with that awful reporter. How do you know about that? Reporter? You mean Reza. Where is he? No, don't! Don't come any closer. I'm warning you. Why are you so afraid? Security will be here in a few seconds. So why aren't they here already? Do they even know about this place? I think you're bluffing. I don't think anyone's coming. I think you're alone up here. The security systems are affected by the static, isn't that right? That's why you didn't see me coming. Or maybe it's not the static. Maybe the little girl did it. After all, she sent me up here. Why would she do that? Who are you? What little girl? Are you and her working together? What are you doing to me? You're taking away my senses. Might as well tell the truth. What are you talking about? I have no idea who that girl is. A liar. Liar! Guess we should Why lie. would I lie about that? Listen, I'm not here to hurt you. I'm just trying to find my friend Reza. Jericho. Reza? The reporter? The one who calls himself Jericho the bump of shit. If you seek to destroy what I've spent my life creating, you'd better come prepared. 
Your friend, he was not prepared. When he hooked himself up to the dreamer, I saw him. All of him. And I fed on him. You were in there, in his head, in his dreams. All of you. Naked, writhing, alive, sweating, mooning. I enjoyed that. It made me hard. Where is he? What have you done to him, you monster? Uh, he's in a very dark place. His dreams are gone. I took them. But why can't I take yours? Hmm? What makes you so special? So, I remember before I had no idea like who this guy was, what his purpose was, what happened. I, I'm not sure how much of it is going to explain, but from what I understand, he is the one who monitors people's dreams personally. I guess it could only be monitored through an actual human brain or something like that. And uh, remember he's saying he couldn't get into uh, her dreams because when she was put on the dreamer, she was just sent to Arcadia. She didn't dream. She was physically sent somewhere else. Special. What do you mean? My pets put you into dreamland, but I couldn't enter you. Ew. Your dreams were close to me. That's never happened before. That makes you very, very special. Your friend, on the other hand, the one who loved you, the one who made love to you, he wasn't so special, he was like the others. What did you do to him? Tell me. I hate his dreams. He's dead. You can't save him now. No. Rez is not... He can't be. You're lying. He's alive, I know it. You piece of shit. Tell me where Reza is, now. No! If you come closer, I'll... I'll have you destroyed. I'll have you torn to pieces, bit by bit. I don't want to destroy you. I, I, I want to learn from you. What? You're different from the others. And you're connected to that fucking girl, the one who's destroying my web. You will stay, and I will study you. Is that so? What's gonna stop me from ripping those cables from your body right now? Will you survive that? You... you monster? Don't you dare! Oh, finally. My most treasured pets are here. I'll take good care of you, I promise. You'll stay here with me, Zoe. And together we will explore that mind of yours. Your thoughts and dreams will open up to me like a book. And I will read them all. I will find out who you are. Find out what you're doing to me. You're not getting me. And I'll be back for you, I promise. Do you know who I am? Do you? I created this place. I created this company. I am this company. I see everything. I know everything. I know that you're working with that horrible diseased child. Her infection spreads across my web like... like a weed in a garden. My beautiful garden! She... she makes me blind again. Deaf. Lost. Trapped. In the dark. I won't let that happen again. I'm not going back into the darkness. Never. Never. Okay, let's uh, get out of here. <laughs> I have no idea what to do. Okay, why did you face in this direction if there's... Oh, there's something here. <laughs> let's see if there's nothing there, but no, there's... Thing. There we go. 
I don't know if you can fight them and win or not, but uh, uh, it's just better to escape. So it's there are two of them and one of me, and it's not good news. Okay. It might be able to carry me down to the street, but it'd be a real leap of faith. It's a long way down. Let's do it. I mean, we don't really have any other choice. Do you remember how strong those twins are? The very first time we saw them, one of them actually held Zoe up by her neck a few, uh, uh, a good foot or two from the ground. Don't know, really don't know anything else about them, except that they seem to be working for the guy who is the mastermind of the Dreamer Project, who's the one who wants to control everything, who sees everybody's dreams. Hello? Uh, who's this? Damien? It's Zoe. Zoe, thank God. I'm so relieved to hear your voice. Are you okay? Where are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. I made it out in one piece. I want to get as far away from this place as possible. You can crash at my place tonight. There's not a lot of space, but uh, you'll be safe there. Thanks. That sounds perfect. I could definitely use a shower and a change of clothes. I'll try and guide you to a place where we can meet. The first thing you need to do is find the boardwalk. Luckily, we don't have to actually follow the instructions. This sounds as though the Azadi have plans with this tower, April on, but I cannot see what that would be. They claim to shun magic, even though this technology of theirs relies on it. Maybe the tower is such a device, a magical machine. Maybe it's a weapon. I got the sense that it was very important that they make their deadline. From what little I know of the Azadi, they have never previously built such a thing, but it is possible. They have powerful thermaturgists, these Westlanders, and I suspect that their hostility to magic comes from their wish to control it, and their fear that others may know more about magic than they do. As for this place you discovered deep below us, this chamber of dreams. I'm not sure that's the right word, but I don't know how else to describe it. I could hear the voices of thousands of people around me. I'm sure it's connected to the tower. The chamber appears to be located right below it, and the man I followed from the tower led me there. This worries me, April On. Dreams are powerful things. Combined with this Azadi machine, if that is what it is, it could have serious consequences. I shall send word to my blood sister in Irhad. She has connections in the strangest of places. Maybe she knows more. I would also have liked to see this chamber with my own eyes. Perhaps then, I would understand more. I tried going back through, but the rock's solid. There's half a mile of mountain between us and the caves. Without the portal, there's no way down there. I will look at the wall in the cellar where you said the portal opened up. Perhaps I can learn how this musical magic works. I must say that I am intrigued. It reminds me a great deal of Bonda magic. They sing to the earth to dig their tunnels. The Bonda songs do not work on the rock, but the magic could still be related. Keep this under wraps, Na'ane. Don't let anyone get wind of what you're doing, not even Benrime. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. Of course. I shall be cautious. Perhaps this is the opportunity we have been praying for, if we do not soon find a weakness in the Azadi front. Let's be positive. And we keep fighting them with the weapons we already have. What else can we do? I am not suggesting we lay down our arms, April on, but we are fast dwindling in numbers. Not a day goes by when someone is not killed, captured, and sent west to an unknown fate, or abandons the cause. We may soon need an alternative to force. There are many, we are few, and the Azadi support among the common people grows daily. We're not dead yet, Na'ane, and it might be that this new information will help us. If that tower is as important as I suspect it is, we have a new target. I'll talk to some contacts, see what they know and what they've heard. Tell Bren and Chuan to get the remaining supplies on their own. They'll need to leave tomorrow evening as planned. We can't afford any delays. Will you not go with them? I haven't decided yet. It depends on what information I manage to dig up. If I get a lead, I'll have to follow it. So be it. 
I may wait for you, but I will leave a message with Benrime if I, too, set course for home. May the stars guide you, Aprilon. We will see each other again soon. All right, back is April, and I love how she mentions the Banda. They remember uh, Ben Bandu from The Longest Journey. I don't think we get to see them in this game, or that uh, other species that sees time as all like one thing, past, present, future. I forgot what they're called. That's too bad. So, uh, oh, and I was thinking about it, uh, where I thought I recognized her voice from. It's because I recently uh, played Metal Gear Solid Five. And uh, she sounds like Quiet, which is not really much of a spoiler because Quiet talks at the very, very beginning of the game before she becomes Quiet, so it's not like I'm spoiling anything. But yeah, her voice actress, it sounds kind of like that. I, I might be mistaken, but that's I think that's where I recognized it from. Well, not recognized, it's not the same voice actress, but what it sounded like. Anyway, oh, I'm glad to be doing this again. I'll also be glad when I get that new microphone. I heard a sound check on it, and it sounds pretty decent. So, uh, we'll be hitting that pretty soon, and I'll be in full recording mode before long, even though I have a new semester coming this next week, but oh well. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have a good day.